Yo, look at it. Look at look. Hey, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I zoom in? I can't. All right. Look at this. Look at this. Look at them wings. Yeah, my wings ain't no baby wings no more. They flapping in the breeze. I finally got L three, man. Finally got to L three. <sighs> I'm a paper L three though. Because now I have to work on getting T11 troops. And my focus was infantry and war machines for the longest time. So those were my star, my two-star troops. So what I have to do now is work on getting my cavalry. And, oh, my God, my archers. I just, my poor archers. Oh, it's going to be a long journey to get these T11 troops because Lord knows I just uh, this was a prime example of speed building but at least I was working on my stats as I was doing so but it, it's going to take a while hopefully though hopefully by next KVK I'll have at least one set of T11 troops I'll have at least the infantry I'll be happy if I have at least the infantry <laughs> But I'm just excited that I was uh, I was able to just finish the freaking castle because I never thought I'd be here. <sighs> yeah, my power is still low because I, I never have enough water, uh, apparently, in KVK. And I didn't even lose that much. Since I'm honest, I don't even lose that much power. I really didn't. I did not lose that much power. I don't know why the hell they make it to where it's so much water needed to provide these troops. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. I didn't even lose that much power. You know why I didn't lose that much power? Because this last KVK was boring. There is another thing that happened. I have no content for you guys. I have no no battles. I, I, ain't, got I, just, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. Like, this is all just... I don't know, man. I think this was a rally. I just, yeah, I mean, I joined other people's rallies. But all the rallies that I... Now, here, I, I, I kind of just... You know, I don't know. I killed myself on this person. It was, it was ridiculous. But that's mostly because I just can't. This another rally I joined. Yep. That's mostly because everything I started, like a rally or what have you, they shielded. And they didn't fight a lot. These people did not fight a lot. Um, shout out to K252, though. I think this was the time to shift. She attacked that little 28 castle we had. They had to, I don't feel like going to the backstory. But, I mean, it wasn't a lot of fighting. Like, don't, don't let you, it, it really was not a lot of fighting. It was just, it was boring. I, I really don't know what else to say that. I, I, what I did discover, however, since I got my castle to L3, I did that. I did get my Dolan to 120, and he's helped tremendously. I got my Asteroid to 100, and as a result, where is that? I, you know, I attacked the empty castle because, you know, I was just that bored. Um, is it? Yeah. Look at my machines. I got a 400 uh, infantry and then a 413 attack uh, war machines, then 312 and... 338, you know, we all about attack over here. I know HP and defense is important and blah, 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 whatever. But I'm just so proud of that, man, because I've been working on my machines forever and finally just seeing them get somewhere where they're good uh, is a big accomplishment to me. Because it's difficult, man. It's difficult as hell getting your war machines up. At least in my case, it is. I mean, everybody else, me, Ooh, it's not hard. But everybody that I faced has trash war machines. So I think that's pretty good. And even without Asherai, where? Hmm. Yeah, even without Asherai, they're at 359. So 360, whatever. Archers 313, 340, 450. So I, I, I just, I'm proud of it, man. I said I don't, I don't spend a ton of money on this game. I did spend some money to f go ahead and get the legendary medals to finish that damn L3 castle because I just I was impatient. I wanted to get it over with. Um but I said not a real challenge begins. I should have T eleven troops by next KVK. I'll give you guys an update on that. Hopefully I do. But um 
I didn't even see my uh cavalry lineup. But yeah, I'm, I'm really pissed about the the water. I said I didn't even, I didn't lose that much too because I didn't um I wasn't even fighting that much. I really didn't fight that much. Like because they was it wasn't a lot of them. And the reason why it wasn't a lot of them is because K two fifty two got into some civil war between each other and they fought each other before they fought us. So they were still recovering. They didn't have many troops or uh they didn't feel like they didn't help each other at all. Yeah, it was just bad, you know. And they just they have good fighters. They really do. Uh, Cause I remember we faced them, um, like four, four or five times, and they beat us once, and we beat them the other four, or three or whatever. And it's not that they're a bad kingdom. It's just like us. They may have the strength, but everybody in the Iron League, I've noticed, and that's what we are. We're like just in the bottom of the league because our kingdoms are dying. Like we have. Not that many people in this kingdom fights. And it's the same thing with um with all of them. And it's not that they're bad. And I don't and I know people think, oh, those the last I mean those kingdoms dying there in the Iron League suck. No, nah, we don't suck. Our kingdom's just dying. We died out faster because of whatever may have, may have happened. Like people just quit the game because they got uh uninterested or oh, okay, just kept fucking um, opening up kingdom after kingdom after kingdom. I mean, shit. You don't give a you don't give one kingdom time to grow before you open another one. Of course, the players, because when you put them into the game, they're gonna go to the new. You're gonna send them to the newest kingdom, not the one before it. And so, I, around the time when we was playing, when we got here, it's like they just kept opening up kingdom after kingdom after kingdom. And it's like psh, you don't give us time to grow or time to, people the time to get here. And, you know, then plus, you know, you're going to have your little spats or whatever when the kingdom first opens and people getting attacked and people not understanding that this is a damn war game and you're going to get attacked. Like, stop bitching. Oh, why are you attack me? Because what we're here to do. We're here to attack you. It's shit, shield up. I don't know what to tell you. So, I mean, there's it's a lot of that crap going on. But hopefully this merge thing happens soon. Maybe we can merge with them and they can get that shit together. Um, I mean, it took us a while to get our shit together, so I'm not gonna complain too much about it or down them too much. Cause it stuff happens, but you know, they just need to know, man. You gotta, no matter how much strength you got, if you don't work together, it's no way in hell you're going to, um, you're gonna be successful. You're just not gonna happen. I mean, we even took that throne. I took that throne with one troop, and I just, I, mean, I got tired of it, so I handed it over to Uncle. So Uncle, Uncle actually has T11 troops, cause he's been L3 longer. So I just handed him the, I made him the leader inside of the throne. And because they wouldn't let me put my heroes in for some reason. The game was just glitching or whatever. But anyway, enough of my random, man. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to tell you guys that I had nothing at all. Maybe I should upload me killing monsters or something. <laughs> but I, it, it was just a boring war. It really was because they were fighting with each other and we didn't have much left. I mean, those battle reports you saw, it wasn't much, trust me. It was just boring most of the time. We, every now and then, we'll look up on something. Uh, I guess somebody was offline. Um, or they'll, most of our points came from us reinforcing because they thought they could do a quick solo on a weak castle and they lose. That just, you know. But hopefully they get it together, man. I really don't wish anything bad on anybody in any kingdom. Because um, they really are a good kingdom. They really are. Um, two, two, 252 is a good kingdom. Uh, they have pretty, they have, uh, good fighters. They just, um, need to work together again because the last time they beat us, they had like way better teamwork than we did. And I was like, man, I was really impressed, you know, really impressed with the teamwork. And even though we were stronger, you know, they, they, they were more unified and like I said, unity, man, trumps all. But I'm really excited about all of the uh, the updates that they have coming soon. The troop updates. You know, the battle lodges, they're going to change. They're going to make it to where infantry doesn't reign supreme over everything else. Just infantry. Um, now, you're going to see that the shieldmen are going to be a big, 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 big part of your um, your duos now. And I don't know if it'll, if I can find it or not. This is so annoying.
where is it is it yeah yep 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 here we go so as you can see shield men and cavalry will counter shield men and archers of course shield men and archers will counter shield men and spearmen which is two infantry the attack and defense infantry and you got the shield men and spearmen will counter shield men and cavalry see this is what i like and then you got the that's just a loop a counterable loop basically meaning that man you're People will have to be a little bit more strategic in how they fight versus just, oh, I'm just going to send a bunch of fucking infantry and then we're going to win. Like, that. there's no strategy in that. And that's why I hate it because people with T11 infantry, and like, it, the, the troop is godlike. Like, it's overpowered. And for good reason, because it's expensive as hell to get. I'm not complaining about it. But when you can just sit there and send all those infantry at a castle, and what if a person has a lot of war machines and a lot of archers? And it still doesn't matter. Like, what's the point of trying to counter these infantry if they're just going to be able to just attack you by themselves with no cover and win? It's stupid. So I'm glad they're fixing that. Um, and then you're going to have, of course, the siege be more effective. Um, now I know they were already good in Castle Battle, supposedly. I never noticed it because, like I said, my siege always get their asses whooped unless they're in a rally. Solo attacks, not so much. Unless I'm attacking with them wrong, maybe I should send more. Um, infantry and less siege or I should send less infantry and more siege I don't know I I kind of get confused on that because not a lot of people like when I first started this game it's like everybody was a siege person everybody they attack with no, like no infantry they just attack with straight siege all the time and maybe I should start back doing that because it worked but then all of a sudden and I'm not trying to say I started this because obviously I'm just a low ranked whatever. None of I don't nobody know who I am. But when I started to notice that cavalry, and this is when I was starting to figure out the counters of the game. I was like back in 170, I was still new to the game, but I was starting to figure out that hey, um, and this is before we had heroes, cavalry counters, um, war machines, let me work on my cavalry. And when I did that, it's like everybody started to become a cavalry player. And it's not because they were copying me. It's just, I guess, because I was doing it. I noticed that everybody else is doing it, too. Because at first, I was just going to work on my war machines like everybody else. Like, okay, since they're so fucking strong, whatever. Then, the game switched to cavalry. Then, it switched to infantry. I was like, what the fuck? So, hopefully, now, archers get their turn. And archers be the meta. Because they're they're good on defense. They really are. Um, Even with uh, Eritra. They're good on defense. She makes them really good on defense, but I don't know about attack. Because how do you attack with, like, archers? It's, like, what do you... I don't know. So, it's going to be a lot of experimenting going on. I'm just... I'm waiting for the update to see how it all balances out. I'm really excited about it. And hopefully, it puts strategy back into this damn game versus just uh, an overwhelming, overpowering type of thing. Because it's annoying. It really is. It doesn't... I guess it won't matter to me now when I get T11 troops, but the people, I know how that would feel to people who don't have T11 troops who have to go against that. Like, I always tell people, like, all right, well, just, I mean, just make sure you have, because people are going to just send a bunch of infantry at you. Make sure you have um, a bunch of TT and archers in your castle, like, you know, and shit, if you have to switch to, like, a, you know, an archer hero on your wall. <laughs> Or Eritra if you can. But mine is only on like level 40. So I don't really see how she would help me at all. Whereas, yeah, she don't help me none. Uh, I got Mina on level 80 finally. I got this Shinjin dude, which I have to try to work on him some more. Uh, he's a bit fucking useless right now. Uh, because of the, the troop changes has not been made yet. So... It's useless. But when he actually, when they do this update, they do this hero update, and they do this troop update, he's going to be very good. So I'm going to just try to keep getting his shards in the meantime. So um, I can start with this balanced attack. And this is why I'm glad that I worked on all of my troops and not just one or two. Because now, whatever we need to do or whatever we may need, I may have it. Uh, tons of people in my kingdom got the cavalry. 
um, me and a group of others worked on work, um, working on our war machines. Um, some working on archers. So we have a little bit of everything. And I try to have a little bit of everything individually. So I can be one of those guys that we can go to no matter what. Um, and hopefully with these T-11 troops, I'll be able to make some type of difference. But I guess um, as you can see right there, it's upgrading. That's 10%. I could go ahead and actually do this now. But I really don't freaking feel like it out. That'll give me some time to work on getting the medals if I can. So I don't see no point of rushing it. But anyway, I'm out, man. I appreciate y'all. And uh, as always, be good. Taste Venom.